This is the Ultra Aftermath. <laughs> yes, the Aftermath. And what this is all about is Ultra. Ultra Fest 2022. Wow. I mean, all I can say is wow. You know, if you looked on my uh, Instagram, you will see uh, me uh, on stage in front of a crowd of, I don't know how many thousand people. Uh, I was not introduced, but I'll tell you, I was up there talking in front of people and uh, on my cell phone and taking pictures and videos and whew, I'm telling you something, this was just an event that, well, I'll tell you, it brought me back to Woodstock. <laughs> yes, I was at Woodstock. Um, and it really brought me back. And it was so much fun. And I'm telling you something. The crazy part about it is this. Everybody was very polite. And whether they're on LSD, whether they're on mushrooms, whether it's smoking weed, whether they're drunk, whether they were straight, I have no idea. But I have to tell you, people were polite. If they hit you, by accident, of course, if they'd say, excuse me, no real thugs there. I mean, a lot of people had tattoos. I'm telling you, a lot of people were wearing real funky stuff. And when I tell you funky, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I listen. I had to do a a take, then a double take, and sometimes a triple take. I'm not kidding. I mean, girls with their boobs hanging out, uh, with uh, with these pasties on them, and and uh, I mean, everybody had their butts showing and. Uh, but it wasn't dirty. It was artistic. And, you know, there's a big difference there if you think about it. I mean, you know, if you go to a sex show and they got their boobs hanging out and their, and their asses hanging out, well, yeah, it's, it's, you know, that's a sex show. This was not a sex show. This was an art show. And when I tell you art, I mean, this was very artistic. The costumes that people were in were probably the most unique things I've ever seen. Um... It was like it was like you remember the Star Wars uh, part in the in the in the bar where all the funky funky people were there. Well, it was like that except these people were good-looking people for the most part. Not everybody, of course, but I mean, you know, they were good-looking. They were normal. They were natural-looking people. But the costumes that they were wearing were <laughs> were just unbelievable. If you get a chance, if you get a chance, I would love for you to you know go into a Google search and go into Ultra and and look at the pictures that were, uh, that are, I'm sure are posted by now, and you'll see what I was surrounded by. And did I have fun? I'm telling somebody I had a blast. And so, you know, it really always comes down to not what you know, it's who you know. And the reason I say that is this. I mean, you know, when I, when, when I got on stage, I had actually asked the security guards, and I said, can I get on stage to do some video? He goes, oh, of course not. This is for, uh, you know, the VIPs, etc. So I showed him my band. I said, oh, somewhere along the line, they think I'm a VIP. And the guy burst out laughing. He cracked up laughing. He goes, well, are you a VIP? I said, well, I think I am. I just, I don't know. So I gave him my card. He goes, oh, yeah, no, you're a VIP. And I said, oh. I said, does that let me in? He goes, no. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. I said, no problem, it doesn't hurt to try. And then this other person came over and goes, aren't you the guy at Mary Millions? I said, yes. He goes, oh my God, come on, get on stage. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so I got on stage and I did a couple of videos on stage and stuff and, and I saw the couple thousand people doing the wave and the chants and the, and the screaming and the yelling and the hollering and, and the oohs and ahs and stuff like that. So I was like right next to all these people, except I was on stage. I was like, you know, 10 feet higher than them. And uh, now I know what those DJs feel like. Man, they feel like kings. I, I, you know, I didn't realize this. I mean, they're up there, what, 30 feet higher than everybody else. And uh, they've got all their electronic stuff and they're, you know, spinning this and spinning that and listening to this and pushing the lights and pushing the music and pushing the fire and pushing the fireworks and, and, Oof. I mean, you know, but listen, let me tell you something. For their hour or two hours or three hours or however long they, they play for, you know, they make a ton of money. So for all you guys out there who are just starting, 